back to my channel. We are here with my beautiful daughter, Jayla, and we're getting ready to do a Toy Story 4 inspired DIY. It's a quick kids craft. I know all the kids are out for summer break and sometimes you get a little bored, don't really have a whole lot to do. And we came up with a quick, quick idea to help stop the boredom, get the kids in the kitchen or in the living room and busy with you making crafts. So we're going to jump right into the video in just a few minutes. Um, we're just going to pretty much show you all of our um, supplies that we're going to be using. First to start off with, we have these unique Toy Story 4 blind bags with the little mini Toy Story figures. We do not know what are actually what's actually inside them. We've been feeling and guessing. Have you been trying to guess, Jay? Yeah, I know what mine is. I think I know what mine is. Mm, I think I think mine. I don't really know what this one is. I think, the head feels a little big. But I think I think mine is buzz. You think it's buzz? Yeah. Mm. I think mine is Ducky. I may be wrong, but Ducky's one of the new characters for Toy Story 4 coming to the theaters this Friday, you guys. And you will also need any water bottle of your choice. Um, we chose one of these juice bottles. We um, <clears throat> made, sh made sure that we rinsed the container out really, really well. And um, <clears throat> we picked up these cute little, look like Orby balls, but they're not Orbeez, but they're these little scented balls from Dollar Tree. We also picked up a few bags of those. See you guys? We thought those would be a cute asset to our DIY clown craft. And we also picked up a little bit of glitter because all crafts needs a little shine and can't go wrong with glitter. And you will also need water for this craft too. So what inspired the craft was back here during Mother's Day, the girls um, made um, water gloves. And I thought it was so cute. We had little small water gloves that we bought from Hobby Lobby and we made... Um, <clears throat> water glows for Mother's Day, uh, Mother Day gifts for my mom and my grandma. And I thought that it would be cute to incorporate that water globe idea with water bottles and using it as a um, cute craft and toy for kids. So we're going to get started. First, we're going to, which one do the first thing? Uh, you want to do the balls. Or do you want to do the glitter first? Let's do the balls. <clears throat> yes, which color you want? We have yellow, blue, and orange balls. Um, I want blue. Blue. And you can get creative. Um, you don't have to use the little Orby balls that we used. Um, you can actually um, come up with different ideas. Glitters, bees, anything that you like that you know your kids will enjoy. Um... <clears throat> we didn't want to use Orbeez per se because Orbeez, it takes a couple days for them to get to this size. So we came up with the idea of buying the ones already um, that's already blown up from the Dollar Tree. Um, these have a scent to them, but they're going to be inside the container. So, so it's going to make the container smell good. Yes, it will. So here we go. Shelly, you want to start putting yours in first? Mm -hmm. This is my bottle? Mm-hmm. Uh, you got it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, God. So They're a little bouncy. It's okay I'm for a few falls. I'm just going to a little bit at a time and just try to... Try to aim it as good as you can. Totally. <laughs> it's okay, Jay. We'll and it will be to the bottom of the container just like that. You can feel as many as you like. I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do the yellow ones. I think yellow will look really, really nice. Yellow one is just the ones I'm going to do. Yellow. I picked blue because um, um, blue goes with buzz. The best. She, J-Lo, picked blue because she thinks that she's going to have buzz inside of her 
So I started for a blind bag. I've been feeling it for a little bit. And it feels like it's bust. I think this is ducky. Because the legs feel so little. And ducky has little bitty legs. So I think this one may be ducky. Okay, Mama, I'm done. You don't want any more extra ones than I'll that? I'll get one more. One more. There you go. And that's my split. So now I'm going to start filling my balls in. It works better if you kind of turn the bottle to the side. I got some oranges on the floor. Well, a little thing for the floor. Oh, you got two on the floor. The uh, Orbeez, I mean not Orbeez, but um, I mean, the, smell the little things. bottles. It's all right. We'll get them up I, in just a minute. I've got Orbeez before. And it looks so cute, you guys. Show them, Jayla, shake it a little bit. Now imagine how cute it's going to look once we get all the little accessories inside the bottle. <clears throat> My girls really like crafting and making things. I try to do so much to help them. Um... In the summertime from being bored. Kids easily get bored. And a lot of times just pulling them into the kitchen or living room to help with any type of craft or cooking or any type of thing to keep them from being bored. And I like to um, craft with my kids a lot. So you gonna put more in yours, Jayla? You mean um, leave yours like it is? I'll just put a little bit more. Okay, here you go. I'm, it's not yeah, be I think I'm going to be done with mine. I think that's a good amount of... You said tip it over? Yes. If you kind of like lean it to the side as you scoop from the bag, it keeps it from bouncing so much. i hold that for you too. Ooh, um, runaway balls. You can just pick them up and put it in the yeah. container. You got some runaway balls. But mostly they just bounce on the table. That's why, that's why you should do it on a table because if you have like things like glitter or bouncy balls, um, it's going to get a little bit messy. That's right, Jay. Um, there's not a specific amount of the crystal bees because these are what they're called. They're crystal bees. They look like Orbeez, but they're not Orbeez. They're little crystal bees. It does not take... Um, a whole lot you can pretty much let your kids fill the container in as much as they want I just like to make it as fun as possible I don't really stop them and tell them how much they should or shouldn't put in because it's a kids craft and with kids as much as you let them control the situation the more fun they have so I generally just let them go with the flow okay I'm done all right Jayla has finished putting her crystal beads in the bottom of her jar, I mean water bottle, and I have finished putting my beads in my water smell, bottle. Bottle smell real good. So, if you want to put glitter in, you can. Glitter is optional. Like I said earlier, you can also put beads if you like. You can also put um, any type of extra item to give it that shine, that glimmer. And we just chose glitter. You gonna use red glitter, Jayla, or go? Yeah, because Buzz got red on. Okay. We did red and gold glitter because Toy Story's theme and colors are mostly red, blue, and gold. So we chose the red and gold glitter. I've had this glitter for a while. I think this glitter came from Walmart. How many do you want us to like, put some in the cup and just... Um, we can just shake a little bit from the container. Okay. Just a little bit like that. Oh, that's pretty, Jay. You can shake a little bit more if you like. Okay. That's good. Can we, like, <coughs> put the caps on and shake it? What'd you say? Can we put the caps on and shake it? Not just yet. Just show everyone how it will look with glitter in there. See, you guys? Show them yours, Jay. This way, boo. Oh, okay. She has red glitter in hers. And you have gold and I have gold glitter, glitter in mine. Yours is matching. Yep. And Jayla has the red and blue the ones. There we go. Now, we're going to go in our next step. We're going to actually um, try to guess 
and we're gonna open our blind bags. That's the next step. You guys, um, try um, um, pause the video, go down the comments below, and try to guess which one that I have and my mom has. Uh, my mom has in the comments. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Do exactly what my baby said. She wants everyone to try to guess. Um, we're getting ready to open them. So, Shayla, you ready? Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping that it's ducky, like I said. I may not be right because it's kind of hard to tell in the containers. So, hopefully, it's ducky. And Jayla is going for Buzz Lightyear. So we're gonna go right on ahead and open these containers. Fine, you're gonna tear them open like this. Okay. Gonna open like that. Okay, we're gonna let you guys see first before us. Can we let them see first before us? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys. Okay. I can get her bag open. There we go. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna let you. Uh, I don't look that much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you guys. I am totally wrong. I wished it was Ducky, but I have. I told you. Benson. <laughs> Benson is one of the new characters on Toy Story 4, and I have Benson, you guys. Benson. I thought I was going to have Ducky. Benson has little feet, just like Ducky. I thought for sure it was going to be Ducky. Ugh. Your turn, Jay. Guys, I can't believe this. This is a total guess, but I actually got Buzz Lightyear. She was right. Jayla has Buzz Lightyear. Oh, my goodness. Look at Buzz. His face is so cute. <laughs> Buzz looks so cute. These blind bags could be found found at <clears throat> any local Walmart. Um, I think these blind bags at our um Walmart were three thirty four a piece, and each blind bag has a different character from Toy Story four. And it also tell you look inside because you may just get Forky. And I think Forky is like considered a rare on um. um this little special yeah, limited edition right, Toy Story 4 bag. Right there. Yes. Let's look for Forky. So we're getting ready to put our Toy Story theme toy inside our bottles. I have Benson. And I have Buzz Lightyear. Show them Buzz, Jay. Too cute. Mini Buzz. So we're going to drop them in. Oh, just like so. Hold on. Will Buzz fit in there? Oh, yes, he will. Yes, you got to put a little pressure. There you go. Yeah. Buzz will fit. Benson is in there. Buzz. Sean Buzz. Buzz is in there. Okay. The next and final step that we're going to do yes. is add the water. So we're going to let Jayla add water herself. You need help or you want me to help you add the water? Um, we're going to leave this up. There's you might need to help me. Okay. We're going to add water. We've already pre-measured out. It's bubbling. We've already pre-measured out all the water. It's bubbling, guys. Yeah. Okay, Jay. Is that a cap on? Yep, you can put your cap on a little tight. Make sure that they're really tight. I'm going to double check it, but don't shake it just yet because I'm going to double check it. Got it, Jay? Is that good? Yes, good. No. So this is my final thing. Got the glitter at the bottom, some mm -hmm. glitter at the top, mm -hmm. and buzz at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna give it a great shake once we get finished filling up this final um 
the water bottle. I'm going to pour the water into this one. Um, I just like to fill mine up. You don't have to fill it all the way up to the top if you don't like. It's your preference on how much water you actually put inside each container. I think the bubbles are coming from the little Orby balls. Because they smell good. Can you put these in the bathtub? No, you can just put them in the house. You can't go in the bathtub. Uh -huh. Yeah, these are just for like a scent, but we'll repurpose. Yep. Here we go. Make sure we got them on tight. Let me squeeze yours on tight. All right, we got our things in there. Can we shake it? And we're going to shake them. Look, guys. Look how colorful it is. I'm sorry. Uh, our Toy Story thing. DIY. Take on a water globe. And it's so shimmery. Jayla, you give them a good shimmer of yours? Yep. Do it up and down. There we go. So let's let them see the buzz. Buzz is in there. Sliding back and forth. Yes, yeah, so and you can also see how the little Orby balls, not Orby balls, the crystal bees are floating around in the water. And it's just the cutest craft for a kid on a summer day. They don't have anything to do. They're just sitting around the house, bored. And this is something that you could do with them. This is a way you can spend time with them and engage them. Pull them away from the TV, the video games. And it's very inexpensive, very quick. I love it so much. I'm We're shaking it. We're making a Toy Story tornado. I love the Orbeez. Yeah, I love the Well, not Orbeez. Crystal Bees. I keep calling them Orbeez. I really, I really wish I would have got, I would have gotten, um. There we go, guys. It's cutest little toys. Quit toys and crafts for your kids. But if you guys guess what we had in the comments, good job. And let's try to wrap everything up um this was a very inexpensive craft um i think it only costs no more than about five or six dollars or less to actually do this craft um the little crystal bees came from dollar tree um i already had glitter myself because i'm a crafter i had plenty of grit glitter left from previous projects you only needed water and the Toy Story 4 blind bags came from Walmart. These mini blind bags came from Walmart and they were $3.34. Everyone, let's go to the movies and see Toy Story 4. Enjoy your weekend. Make sure you do something fun with your family, your kids. Um, we're um, going to also go see Toy Story 4 also. So I just really love doing hand, uh, hands-on crafts with my daughters and my families. And just drop down in the comment box if you would like to see more videos with me and my daughter doing crafts together. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in. Always remember to create, explore, and enjoy. And it's Uniquely Tay. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.